It is about developing a culture of accountability where the agents of themselves understand the goals that are set, believe in those goals, and hold themselves accountable for the results. That's my first answer, and that is the first strategic intervention that the Ministry of Education will make. So we look at this as, first of all, a developmental phase. And in the developmental phase, it is about providing information, providing a framework of support for our teachers so that they understand what it is that we're trying to achieve. So that they don't see this new call for accountability as just us being red-eye for the pay, the pay increase that they get. That we're just begrudging them the pay increase so we want to take it back from them through accountability. No, that's not what we intend. That's not what we intend. I want to make that absolutely clear. So the Ministry of Education, therefore, in the first instance, will be embarking on an internal education campaign with our agents, the principals, the teachers, and the administrative staff right throughout our education system. And secondly, we will have to put in place the support mechanisms to create that enabling environment for teachers to be able to achieve their goals. Right? And that, that has to do with training facilities, our regular interactions with them, a proper channel of communication with the persons to whom we have de um, devolved authority. That's the kind of support that we have to give. And so that, that, is, that is number one. Let me just digress a bit. When we realized that we had signed, a signed agreement to increase teachers' salaries, it gave us the window we needed to introduce the concept of accountability in education. Everyone is hearing? Yeah, you're hearing? Okay. Just checking. Yeah. So it gave us a, 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 a window to introduce the concept of accountability. And I have to, should I declare that, Mr. Clark? Okay, I won't. <laughs> but other persons were thinking in the same direction, that if we're going to improve the performance and the results from our education system, then clearly the, I the idea of accountability must be seriously introduced into the transformation framework. And to do that, we needed the leaders in the education sector to first believe that this should be so. And so this meeting, this, this seminar, is about engaging the leaders in education to start thinking about accountability, to start advocating for accountability, and essentially to create a critical mass of support in the society for accountability in the education sector. So if this seminar does nothing today, it should create a critical mass of support for the idea of accountability in education. And that's, that's the real goal of, 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 the, of the seminar. Um, the Ministry of Education will be undertaking other such seminars and dialogue, and um, we will probably carry out a public education campaign to promote the idea of accountability. But let's move now to looking at some of the other more concrete steps that we're taking to secure accountability in, in education. You would have heard much discussion about the process of inspection. And clearly, when you talk about accountability, you have to have a process of appraisal. In other words, you, you have to identify the targets, the standards, and the processes to achieve those targets and standards. And so, coming out of the transformation recommendations, the National Education Inspectorate uh, was formed, and it is now operational. We are in the development phase of that. 
Um, is uh, Elaine here? Elaine Foster Allen? Elaine, Elaine, not here. She's coming. Elaine is the executive director, but her official title is the chief inspector of schools. And her role will be to, first of all, set standards and then invigilate those standards. So she will be physically inspecting school operations and judging them against set standards. One of the things that we contemplate is to create a league table of school performance. Now, we have to clearly understand what that idea is. Whenever we talk about accountability, there are two aspects to the, to the, to the relationship. Eh? There's the person who is empowered to sanction performance. And then there is the person, and by the way, sanction doesn't mean only penalties. It could mean and should mean, and more oftentimes should mean incentives. So that's the first part of the relationship, the person who is empowered to apply sanctions, whether it is uh, incentives or penalties. But then there's the other side of the relationship, and that, that side of the relationship involves the, the people who have to, first of all, report their action. They have to, of course, carry out their actions, and they have to explain why their actions either fall below the set standard or above the set standard. So that is a, the nature of accountability. And so we are, we're, we are now establishing the agency that has the power to, well, I couldn't say this agency has the power to apply sanctions because when, when I explain it fully, you will see that the, the application of sanctions is, is uh, transferred to another agency. But this agency has the power to interrogate and invigilate performance. Now, the National Education Inspectorate will essentially, after it has done its assessment and evaluation of school performance, publish a report to the nation, to parliament, and it will essentially create a league of schools that has some good and it has some bad. Because if the report only reinforces what we know, then poor performance will continue. But the important thing in doing this is that for accountability relationships to work, there must be voice. We must give voice to both the persons who are being held accountable and the persons who are doing the interrogation and the invigilation of the standards. And so for voice to happen, we must make information about performance public. And so that is going to be a part, a feature of accountability. Performance information will be public. This will inform parents' decisions about where they send their children to school. Hopefully, that will be adding another voice to the accountability relationship, bringing in the society, in particular the parents, in holding schools accountable and teachers accountable for performance. That is going to be not so new because we have had in the past, I, don't, I didn't see anything published this year about the performance of high schools at the CXC level. I think two senior educators are here who normally produce those reports. I don't see anything produced this year. I, I don't know if it is because there is a a slight improvement in, 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 in performance. But um, 